my husband were in, we were both in the car and we were driving and I was looking at the siding of houses and I noticed that it was the siding was wavy and I said to my husband Brian is the siding wavy on those houses and he said no with a history of macular degeneration in her family Gail Glazier was beginning to see the signs of a disease that terrified her I was really apprehensive about what the future was going to be because my father when he had it there were no treatments when he was very sick, I knew this was happening to me, and I chose not to tell him. I did not want him to know that his daughter was going to go blind. I was really afraid, but I knew that if I came to Mass Ioneer and I saw Dr. Lowenstein, that if anyone had anything going on, that he would know what to do. Unfortunately, he said, Gail, you're you have the macular degeneration right now. Then I thought, you know, what am I gonna do? I'm an English teacher, I'm gonna lose my vision. And I know the tears just came out. And one of his fellows came over and took my hand and put his other hand on my shoulder. And Dr. Lowenstein said, but it's okay, Gail. We have the new treatment, we have the Lucentis. Gail lives in Western Mass and has traveled three hours each way to receive Lucentis injections each month for the last two years and that although she would have to return monthly for injections in the eye, which, which sounds awful, that the treatment could stabilize the vision in 90 or 95 percent of cases and actually produced improvements in about 30 to 40 percent. It's a frightening kind of thing to think that someone is going to take a needle and put it into your eye. They put all kinds of different types of antiseptic in your eye and freezing drops. Then Dr. Lowenstein comes over and he'll say, a little pinch scale and it's over. It's very rare for me to say something like this because uh, I'm not into hyperbole, but this treatment really is a miracle. And Dr. Lowenstein will say, Gail, you still have 20-20 vision. And that's 20-20 vision when I wear my distance glasses. Before the procedure, I couldn't see anything. At her most recent visit, she did have a bit of recurrent leakage and vision had dropped a little bit to about 20-30. But we are able to reinstitute the treatment so our plan is to do a series of three monthly injections and then see at that point if we're able to stop again. Supporters of Mass Eye and Ear should take pride. Their contributions are having a direct effect on patients like Gail. Without seed money uh, to the Eye and Ear Infirmary for research in anti-VEGF therapy, Ms. Glazer would have gone blind. It's no wonder then that Gail holds Dr. Lowenstein and the other caregivers at Mass Eye and Ear in very high esteem. Kids look at people like Tom Brady as a hero. Tom Brady's a great quarterback, and I'm a New England Patriots nut. Dr. Lowenstein's a real hero. I am blessed that he is my doctor. My cup runneth over.